Hi, welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 3. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 35 of Book 3, which states that if we have a circle and we have two lines intersecting each other at, in the circle at point E, then the, leg, then the segments of one line, in other words, the line segment A and B multiplied together will be equal to the segments of the second line multiplied together. So this line multiplied by this line will be equal to this line multiplied by that line. So to prove it, well our first proof will start where the lines intersect each other at the center of the circle. So if E is the center of the circle, then all of these lines are equal. They're equal to the radius. And it's pretty obvious that since they are all equal, that AE times EC will be equal to R squared, and that will be equal to BE times ED, which is also R squared. So this one is pretty self-evident. The second proof takes into consideration the example where the lines do not cross in the center of the circle. So in this instance, F is the center of the circle and E is the point of intersection. So from F, we've drawn a line that is perpendicular to AC and it joins the line at point G. Now according to Proposition 3 of Book 3, if F is the center of the circle, FG is perpendicular to line AC, then line AG is equal to line GC. Now we have from Proposition 5 of Book 2, if we have a line that is bisected at a point G, what we're going to state here is that if this is the distance x, this is the distance y, if this is the distance a, and this is the distance b, then from Proposition 5 of Book 2, we have that xy plus a squared will be equal to b squared. Now this could have been quite some time since you've looked at Proposition 5 of Book 2, so we, I will review it quickly. Here is our line. Now if we draw a rectangle, x times y, where x is equal to ag and y is equal to ec, then this rectangle right here will simply be xy. If we draw a rectangle EC times the length AG, this rectangle here will also be equal to xy. So we have two rectangles that are equal. If we add to that this rectangle GE times EC to both of them, we have this green polygon and we have this pink polygon that are still, they are both equal to each other. So here, this pink polygon is equal to AE times EC, AE times EC, which is equal to this green polygon. If we add then the square of GE squared, this length being GE, and this length being GE, you can see that the sum of everything or the sum of this green bit here, plus GE squared, this all equals GC squared. And that's what we have stated here. If you want a more formal proof of that, you should go back and look at my tutorial on Proposition 5 of Book 2. So carrying on, we have this equality. We're going to add <coughs> GF squared to both sides 
of this equation. So all we've done here is we've added gf squared to both sides of our equality. However, it should be noted that GE plus GF squared, GE plus GF squared is just equal to FE squared according to Pythagoras. So we can substitute FE squared into that part of the equation. Similarly, GC squared plus GF squared, GC squared plus GF squared is equal to FC squared which is also equal to the radius squared. So we can put this into part of our equation, which finally gives us that AE squared plus FE squared is equal to R squared. Again, all we've done is taken this bit and replaced it with this, and taken this bit and replaced it with this and ended up with this equation. Now we're going to do the same thing for our line BD. So we draw a line FH that's perpendicular to BD, so BH is equal to BH is equal to HD. We have that DE times EB plus HE squared is equal to HB all squared. And we draw our triangles again to give us that HF squared plus HE squared equals FE squared. FH squared plus HB squared equals FB squared. So again, we have taken First, we added the plus hf squared on both sides of the equation. Then we have taken this bit and determined that it's equal to fe squared. And we've taken this bit and determined that it's equal to r squared. Rewrite the equation. Now we end up with two equations. Here, we have that ae times ec plus fe squared is equal to r squared. And here we have DE times EB plus FE squared is equal to R squared. These two parts of the equation are equal, which means that this bit here has to be equal to this bit here. Or, in other words, we end up with this equation here that we have. AE times EC is equal to DE times EB. And thus we have demonstrated this proposition. Now before we go, I would like to compare this to proposition 14 of book 2, which was how to square a rectangle. And in that proposition, we draw a line, or we extend the line BE to the point F, so that EF is equal to ED. We bisected our line BF at the point G. So BG is equal to GF. Draw a circle. Extend the line DE up to the point H where it intersects the circle. <coughs> Draw a square. And according to Proposition 14 of Book 2, this square is equal to this rectangle. However, if we look at this proposition, we have a circle. We have a lot, two lines intersecting at the point E. And according to this proposition, BE, EF is equal to HE, EI. But HE and EI are equal. So we have BE EF is equal to HE all squared. And since EF is equal to ED, we have that BE ED is equal to HE squared. So we have just shown the same results, but using 
this proof. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.